what? Just, just, what was that? That should be like the tagline for that movie. It, Nightmare on Elm Street 2. It's so weird. And it's pretty gay. <laughs> the main they switch it up where the main character's a dude this time. Break the formula already, nice job. It's always supposed to be the girl. And where the hell like they mentioned Nancy, but where the hell is she? Just no, just her diary. Can I see that? March fifteenth, nineteen eighty. He comes to me at night. We only get the diary. I hear she's in the third one, so the third one, I better like it. I swear to God, if I don't. Uh, Dream Warriors. Nine Run Elm Street Dream Warriors. But, uh, okay. So, pretty much, it's about this kid. His name is, uh, this teenager. I cannot remember his name. Wait up. I just remembered it's Jesse. So it's about this kid named Jesse and his girlfriend Lisa. And they like, I guess go out. But it's more about Jesse. And they more show him at night for some reason. They don't really show his daily activities. And he has the funniest scream I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> the... It's like, what the hell, bro? And then, uh, you know, like, he has a friend that he got into a fight with at the start, but then they be become friends. more after the fight and the girlfriend is trying to help him because freddy is trying to get inside his body to use him in the real world to kill people which I guess is a cool idea and I do kind of like how they shoot him like meatier and sweatier if that makes any sense like he looks legitimately way scarier in this one but still half the time he's he's barely in the movie and uh you know there's that weird scene where he's kissing her and then all of a sudden his tongue just goes and it's like Freddy's tongue, and it's like, the hell? <laughs> Whatever. The, the. Some of the parts in the movie make no sense. Like, the beginning is just out of nowhere. What the hell? That looks 
so bad. Is there and then the bus just goes to a cliff and that's pretty much it and then he wakes up screaming which I guess is cool he's dreaming whatever but still it's kind of weird like and then after at the end the hand that that legit got me though I liked kind of liked that part in the ending one of the girls and then it drives off to the desert again where the cliff was at the beginning which is pretty cool but i'm just so confused because is it supposed to be freddy the bus driver because i know i could tell that the guy who is the bus driver is also freddy like he's pl i mean like they're playing he plays freddy but he's also in the thi he's also in the uh bus as a different person though so i'm not sure if it's supposed to be the same guy and one of the kills are pretty okay like there's a lot more in this one There's really only like two deaths of main characters and one of them isn't really a main character. It's the football coach, no, the baseball coach and uh, the his best friend, the jock. Oh yeah, spoilers, but the jock. And it's like, uh, one of them was pretty good. Like they stick the glove through it and whatever and then he looks in the mirror and it, like Freddy's there and I was like, oh my god, he's taking him over. And then one of them was so weird. Like the, for some reason, jump ropes attach themselves to his wrist and then they drag him to where he's gonna die. It's like, but this dude is awake. I don't understand why these balls are falling if this dude is awake. What the hell?
I give this movie like uh, the first one. I'd say like I'm just gonna rate it just because it was okay for me. Oh yeah, and there's that one part where there's this creepy dude that I guess he, uh, one of the girl, the girl with the black hair, he's like there and he just smiles like he's so high. He He's like, wanna go? And she's like, yeah, let's go. And I was like, what the hell? And he always wakes up so sweaty too. The Jesse, he always wakes up so sweaty. And his girlfriend Lisa, he she like kisses Freddie. Ill. <laughs> but like I was saying. In the f for first movie, I give it an A, right? Probably an A+. Plus. Like, that's one of the best horror movies of all time. I'm not sure, though. But for this one, I'd give it a C- minus because it wasn't that great. But uh hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, please smash that like button. Let's try to get about... Oh. Drop the camera. 20 likes on this video. And of course, I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out and bye-bye.